This is my third hair length check in my hair growth program using the inversion method and the rosemary tonic. However, the month of November, which is the month I'm reporting on, <laughs> I did not get to do any rosemary applications whatsoever. Now, I did do a couple of days of the inversion method, but not like I was supposed to. Not seven days, okay? And certainly not with oil, okay? I did it when I was maybe laying in bed and thinking about it and the oil was in the bathroom and I was not gonna get up. So, you know, yeah, I got lazy. But in a way, this is good that I did not do it because now I get a chance to see the hair growth when I don't do that method or I don't use the rosemary tonic. So let's see what happened. I did do a hair length check just to see what the heck. Okay, I'll probably get, hopefully I'll get the standard, the average length of growth of a half inch. So we'll see. We'll see what the tape measure says. Basically, what the tape measure said that without the inversion method and without the without the rosemary tonic, my hair grew a half an inch. I measured at 15 inches last month, and my bangs measured in at 10 inches. And this month, well, here are my bangs, and they measure <laughs> they're still at 10 inches. So. Yeah, there wasn't very much movement on anything. Um, so, yeah. I think the inversion method absolutely works. And there is a difference when you don't use it. Probably what I'll do in the future is just do the inversion method on a casual basis. And just make sure I don't do it any more than seven days a week because... I don't think it's necessary that you do it seven days in a row just seven days in a month <laughs> but then again I could be wrong and just justifying my lack of um, consistency but at any rate um, I I'm not sure if I'll continue with this experiment I think this really just goes to show with the inversion method I grew two inches and without the inversion method, I grew a half an inch. That says volumes right there. Thanks for watching.